Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. Today, I wanted to highlight an interesting project that could be of major use to anyone who enjoys emulating games on your Android smartphone or tablet. The website is called EmuReady, and you can find this page at emuready.com. So let's take a look at what this open source and crowdsourced database can offer the community. I saw this new project shared on Reddit recently, and it seemed to be a great idea if the community is able to get behind it. See, anyone who has used an emulator on the PC before has probably gone to that emulator's website or at least a wiki page and then looked for its compatibility list. This would be a place where the emulator developers or the dedicated fan base behind them could give their reports about how a specific game has played. Sometimes you would see reports mention that the game does not even load or that it does load but the textures pop in and out or maybe the game just runs perfectly and there aren't any issues to speak of. That compatibility page was a great place to save time as it would allow you to find a game that you are interested in emulating and then see if you had a chance of playing it to completion or not. Sadly, this type of setup is not possible on mobile, at least not for Android due to the vast number of hardware combinations that there are. So instead, EmuReady was born with a goal of filling that void and offering a one-stop place for the mobile emulation community. Here, you'll be able to search for your specific phone or search for your specific chipset or even just search for a specific emulator and then you can see community reports about those specific entries so that you can start going through those compatibility reports. Let's take a deeper look at this website. When you first load up the website, you'll see this landing page here. And there's not much detail to look for here, but you can learn a lot about the project overall but we can dive into the compatibility reports from here. Now, there's going to be a filter sidebar that we can pull up. And this is where you want to go if you want to see reports from a specific phone, if you want to see reports from a specific game console system, see reports from a specific emulator, or, and what's probably going to be the most useful, you can see reports from a specific chipset. Since these are going to give you the best results that match your specific situation. I know the Snapdragon 8 Elite has been quite the popular chip lately, so we're going to tap that and check out all of the reports for that specific chip. Sadly, there aren't too many reports to go through, but it does give us a great starting point to jump off of. We can see that Cytron is fairly popular here, just like WinLater is. But we can see if we were wanting to play Grand Theft Auto V, then we probably have a good shot using GameHub. So when we find a specific entry that we like, we're going to tap on this eye icon right here to dive into that specific report. And this is where you see the meat of a project like this. As you're going to get a list of emulation specific settings that you're going to want to check on before you launch the game. And assuming this report is accurate, if you have a phone or a device with this chip, 
and you use this emulator to play this game with these settings, then you're likely going to have the same or at least similar performance that this person saw. The modern emulation scene on Android right now is incredibly complex as there are a ton of different options out there. Sometimes there will be more than one emulator per console and there are going to be instances when game A plays good on one emulator but a different game will not load on that emulator. However, that different game actually ends up running perfectly with a different emulator or, as you can see, a very specific configuration. I've seen many, many people just give up on these modern emulators entirely because the game they wanted to play didn't load on the first try. So anyone who does not have the time or the mental energy to tinker with something like that can hopefully visit this website and pull up the exact settings that they need. Or at least they can go and check on a specific game to see if it has any chance of being emulated on their specific device. But as with most crowdsourced projects, this idea will live or die by the community. And I would love to see the community come together with using this website as a go-to place for emulation on Android. The developer seems to be pretty open about it, and it looks to be entirely open source too. So I highly recommend everyone go and check it out and contribute in any way that you can, even if that just means double checking on previously submitted compatibility reports, since the built-in voting system will really help the community to know what is accurate and what is not. That's going to be it for me this week. And I do hope that you all have a fun and safe weekend. I just learned that Steam is having a big summer sale right now. And Android game developers are getting in on the fun. So all day yesterday, all day today, and throughout the weekend, you're going to be able to find some fantastic mobile apps and games on sale within the Google Play Store. So I would appreciate it. If you would all visit a website of mine, playstoresales.com, to check out those fantastic discounted titles.